Also making news, Chicago Public Schools can expect to hear an earful tonight from parents at a Northside school. They're upset after their popular principal was suddenly removed. CBS 2's Dorothy Tucker is outside Blaine Elementary where parents are preparing for a rally. Dorothy. And parents are already gathering here in the playground at Blaine Elementary. The rally starts about a half hour at 530. There are about a thousand students who attend Blaine, so many of their parents will be attending this rally and the meeting at 6 o'clock. It's important for us to stand up. Stand with Troy. Scores of Blaine parents expressed their support this morning for ousted principal Troy LaRavier. Last night, the local school council had an emergency meeting and today sent this letter to CPS expressing their outrage and recommendation that assistant principals Gary Norcross and Angela Brito take over instead of CPS's choice of a retired principal from Von Steuben. They know our school. They know our kids. Let's just make that the last two months of school this year smooth and seamless for our kids. CPS removed La Ravier last week. The popular principal was known for his public criticism of CPS and Mayor Emanuel. In Chicago, we have endured a corrupt political system. CPS accused La Ravier of alleged actions of misconduct, but by cell phone, Clarice Berry, the president of the Principals Association, says CPS made a big mistake. This was a misunderstanding. A misunderstanding over a meeting of principals who gathered at Stevenson Grade School last week to hear La Ravier campaign for the association's upcoming election. But all it was was an auxiliary meeting about his getting elected as president. Barry says CPS called the meeting illegal, but she and others think the accusation was just an excuse to get La Ravier out of the system. Now, the mayor denies that the removal was politically motivated. Early today, he told reporters that he does not get involved in CPS personnel decisions. CPS leaders won't talk about why the principal was removed. They will only say that they will answer parents' questions tonight. Again, that meeting starting at 6 o'clock. Reporting live from Chicago's Lakeview community, Dorothy Tucker, CBS 2 News. Back to you, Rob and Erica. Okay. Dorothy, thank you.